Hi, this is Maria from Maria's Way of Life. Welcome back to this, your channel. I am a budgeting teacher, uh, mom of two, and I am married. I use my husband's weekly paycheck so that I can do some challenges as well as use our variable or use that money for variable spending during the week. So that's what, how we do our cash wallet stuffing. And then uh, my teacher paycheck goes toward all the major bills. And usually that, that just stays in the back so that I can make, um, sorry, I'm gonna clean this off, uh, so that I can make all those payments online. Uh, my goal is to be a week ahead, but uh, I started or restarted this budgeting journey uh, February just so that I can start paying all the people that I owe. I'm not even focused on credit cards yet, which you will see that I'm trying to make a couple of changes in my envelopes, but uh, my biggest focus is to pay family members that I, I am in debt with, and it has been going okay. And I literally, <laughs> sorry if I'm stumbling here or if I repeat things because I'm super tired. Today was our first day back from our October break and as you can hear my voice I had a very rough day and it is very late uh, tonight I was going to head to sleep but I really want to make sure I do my cash wallet stuff in because I have a feeling they're gonna call me from the optometrist and my glasses will be ready and then I also am going to finish a dental uh, challenge today that I really just want to go ahead and allot everything enough of the talking let's go ahead and take a quick look i ended some challenges because i come to find out that my husband's not going to uh, have overtime so i have to terminate some to fulfill others and if you see any highlights that's what it means that i fulfilled it with challenges that i had um, or that i terminated and that way i don't have so many so hopefully all of them will be good in one video so let's go ahead and get started i am going to go ahead and start i think today with my let's let's just go ahead and do the wallet uh today i don't have a lot of change let's see and pennies go into a jar that is next to the entrance of my bedroom so I'm just gonna put these aside for now and then I have one nickel and one dollar worth of quarters and my quarters go in a piggy bank that I have right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there and then this nickel goes in here this is a coffee container that mom rinsed off for me and then my husband made this over here and so only nickels and dimes will go in here all right then this is the wallet that i got from amazon because i don't know if i mentioned this i restarted this video like five times because i'm so tired um i it it just got worse and i cannot carry it like this it just bothers me so I ordered this very cheap wallet on Amazon. I will link it down below. Look how tiny it is compared to this one. And so I, it's just like a regular men's wallet <clears throat> size. That's what I can uh, reference to. So let's go ahead and do that. The envelopes are a lot smaller too. We'll see how I do with this one. I can always return it if I'm not happy with it. I forgot that I also need to grab a sticker from here one of my freebies and then put it on my driver's license just so I can cover some information here all right hopefully that'll work okay that way I don't have to edit all that so yeah this is really cute it has three one two three slots here works perfect and then it has two of these clear pockets which I absolutely love and I want to go ahead and get started with groceries and groceries this week is getting a hundred and I wish I could do more honestly but I cannot because I it's a short it's a very small check and 
I'm just going to have to pull through and use what's in the fridge and in my pantry. I really need to do that. So there is 100 for groceries. Then we're going to do food. This time I labeled for like family time and eating out really. Not family time, sorry, eating out. And I'm not going to do anything on eating out this week. That is the least of the priorities in during a short week. So we're just gonna have to deal with that as a family. And then this gas money right here is going to be $100 as well. I keep it here because if it's in the bank, I will spend it. So let's go ahead and do that. If you want to speed through this part, I know these are, <clears throat> I'm sorry, some of my like least um, watched videos. So you can always skip and go straight to the challenges. And then for out, um, this is actually the family time. It only had, it came with like, let me see if I have them here. These labels here. And it only had like for family time, the only one that I can find that I could figure out to put is like this out sticker. So I will go ahead and let's see, family time, it will be $20 in here. And then personal money, this is my spending money. My husband gets 40, so here his 40 are right on the side. And then I get 10 for myself. Let me see if there's an older bill. Well, kind of old are. And we're going to go ahead and put this one in spending. how are you guys doing um today is tuesday and my week just started today because we had a professional i cannot do this guys i have to turn it to the side i'm sorry and this is a very old bill anyway we had a professional development yesterday it was not mandatory and when things are not mandatory i really didn't show up i guess i could have made more money but my sanity and my well-being are more important at this point. This has been a very rough year. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and are blessed. Uh, for care, this is a technically, technically our health and beauty. And I am going to add $20 in here. And let's go ahead and take this out. I can already see I'm struggling here. So... I'm really gonna have to prep before anything. The good thing is, especially for groceries, where it's like one that my husband does that, so I just give him the bill and I don't have to worry about change or anything. He takes care of that. And then um, for gas, same thing, it gets deposited. So technically the only thing that I have to pull out is like if I have any eating out money or family time. So these two envelopes are the one that I use the most where I can get change or anything like that. But basically, I'm just trying to figure out how convenient this is going to be at a store, you know, and with kids. So what did I say? I'm adding here $20, I think. So 20 And this, let's see, I have one 20 40 60 160 dollars whatever was left out of last week's money i just put it in my nails and or health and beauty um envelope because i wanted to make sure that i have enough for my nails this week i have an appointment on thursday if god permits i will be having new nails pretty soon for miscellaneous, I didn't allot anything because I actually didn't have this envelope last week, but I really want to have it again. I used to have it before and I really uh, felt it was really useful as well as water. I didn't allot anything uh, this week because I didn't have this envelope here anymore and my husband had been spending out of his spending money and water and I feel really bad. So it's just about seven to $10 per week. So I think I can do that and budget for that. 
So that is it for this wallet. And I can already see it's pretty um, thick. And this is a magnetic closure. So let's see. Oh, okay. It's still, okay. It, it It's arrived. Now, the only thing is, I didn't put anything on the last two. So we'll see how this does next week. We will see. So wallet is done. Look how cute it is. I am like loving it right now, how compact it is. And mind you, I don't like folding the bills, but honestly, sometimes I just want to grab it and put it in my small purse and nothing fits in my small purses. I just have to like get used to this. All right, so moving on. Let's go ahead and do rainy day challenges. I'm really excited about this. We will go ahead and do our 100 challenge and we are putting 10 into every pocket. I will bring that out as well. This is what it looks like. I got it from Amazon and these challenges are, for, are from Two Sister Bees. Let's go ahead and grab these out and I'm going to speed through this process as I color envelope um, 65 through 68 this week and I'm going to grab 10, 20, 30, 40. And that's what's going in the envelope in a minute. Let me go ahead and color this in. All right, the $10 bills are in here and that makes me mega happy. Let's move on. And for the fall challenges, so last week I just traced the leaves, but just coloring it in, it looks amazing. And then I did the little ink curtains for $20. I also want to show you the monthly challenge that I scratched off. I am supposed to put in here $39 and we're going to go ahead and do 20 for here and 39. Again, the money that I'm using is already in the envelope because I got it from a different challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and turn to the challenge that we're going to be working on next as I bring the binders to show you the money and count it in. So, for seasons, which are the leaves and the acorn that I covered, or not the leaves, the acorn was $20. I'm going to add it in. That's why I leave, left it in the front. And adding this one in here now gives me a total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, $85 in my monthly challenges. I mean, seasons challenges, not monthly. For monthly, I left it here in the front. And now it's a total because I had to get a propped bill since it hit another 100. I just left the entire thing in the front. But I did add the $39 that were to be allotted from this one for the October challenge. So it's now it's a total of 500, 6, 7, 8, 900, 10, 15, 17, 19, 21, 921 dollar in the month challenge for two sister bees rainy day savings book. That is very exciting. Moving this to the side, and 
let's go ahead and get this one started for next week so that we know what to allot. Oh, by the way, for the Seasons Challenge, I really want to hit 45 next week. I will write it down as 45, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. If I cannot, then I'll just do either 20, a 5, a 10. I have options, but I'm not going to write anything just yet. Just because I want to make sure that I have enough uh, money to fulfill challenges. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and roll. And I think I'll roll three guys. Oh, let's do this cute little ones. How many do I have? Do I have three? Yep. Is this another? No, that's bigger. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and roll this. And I need a marker. I think I'll do. Let's just do a black marker. <clears throat> and let's see. Let me fill my basket in the November market. I have 6, 10, 13. Let's also get Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? Twelve, third. I'm confused. Which way does this go? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Goes this way. Oh yeah, it does go. Oh, and it goes down this way. Oh my gosh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I'm going to go ahead and do a dollar. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're also going to do two. And maybe I should roll just two of them. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's three. And I don't know. I feel a little confused. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to end, keep going. Let's see. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six. One, two, three, four, five. And six right here. So we're going to go ahead and do three right there. All right. I think that's all I will do. Let's go ahead and add that up. Two and three, five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen dollars, and I'm just going to go ahead and cross this one out as well for fifteen. And that was fun. I really like doing things like this. I just there's so much going on. It's a little confusing for me, but that's just my brain. There's nothing wrong with the challenge. So this one I do have to write in because I will forget. All right. And that is it for rainy day challenges from Two Sister Bees. This is what the book looks like just in case you're interested. 
Alrighty, moving on. I want to do scratch offs and that's so exciting. I'm going to bring out my binder here. And for mischief budgets, I allotted $10 last week. And these $10 are here. Let's see. I'm putting this card back. I'm not sure why I took it out. And why is this here? I don't know why this is here, guys. We'll have to put it back over there. That's from two. I mean, from Budget with Mama Bear. So let's add 10 in here. And now we're 20, 30, 35, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. That is awesome. So that's a total of 65 on Wednesday challenge. And let's go ahead and scratch off for next week. And we're only doing one, even though we're not going to finish it before Halloween, but that's okay. Oh, I could have done it this way, huh? Sorry. Nevermore is like no other boarding school. It's a magical place. All right, so this one will be $10 for next week as well. I know why I took this out because I recycled the envelope for another challenge. So I loved it so much. I'm going to put it right here. And let's move on to, but no, I'm sorry. Let's move on to Dental. And this is from Budgets and Chaos. And I asked her for a $400 challenge. And if I actually put in this time $164, that's what it would be. So let's go ahead and grab that. 150, 60, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wow, look how old these bills are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so we should have four hundred dollars. Let's see, one, two, three, three hundred, three hundred fifty. This should be fifty dollars then. Twenty, thirty, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That gives us four hundred dollars in dental core payment budget and chaos. If you have not visited Mari, go ahead and check her out. I love watching her videos. And now this money is going to be for my daughter's next dental visit. I just called my, um, my optometrist office just called and said that glasses won't arrive until another week or two. So that gives me time. I need $200 for that. So, and I need $500 for dental. So literally i think i'm just gonna put this aside for dental and just leave it there and then use some of the other challenges to fulfill my optometrist appointment or glasses i should say all right moving on to budget with mama bear i love this challenge and last week i scratched off ten dollars and here is a ten dollar bill again this is one that i allotted some money to before we started the video so now this gives us and budget with a mama bear 20 40 50 
50, 52, 53 dollars. And let's go ahead and, oops, money's falling over here. And scratch off for next week. Let's see. <clears throat> do I want to do all of it? This is what I do and then I go crazy trying to fulfill them. Okay. Let's try one first. All right, that is $26 for this challenge. And I have a 20 over here to the side. I think I'm just going to go ahead and lot 20 this time around. And then next week it'll be $6. So now we are 20, 40, 60, 70, 72. Seventy-three. Huh. I don't know if I did something wrong. I'll add these later on, but it's supposed to be seventy-five, and I already have seventy-three here. Here though, hold on. Twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, seventy-two, seventy-three. It is seventy-three, and I want to do this real quick. Sorry, I'm going to be uncomfortable if I don't do it. 19 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 10 plus 79 Yep, so it is a $79 challenge not 75 and that's totally okay with me so what i will do then instead of putting six next week i will put in seven that way it will actually be the 80 dollars so i will put seven dollars for eight dollars for budget with mama bear challenge and that'll be exciting to fulfill it next week So, and then this one right here I owe six dollars to but again this is another one that was a low amount and I was able to put in six so I'll just add them in here account ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty six $27 going into Budgets and Chaos Goth Squad. And she does her own envelopes like this. I love it. It's perfect. And let's scratch for next week. Let's do this one up here. All right, and I actually added this one for next week um, because we will be finishing budget with Mama Bear. So hopefully I can start this one. I, this one's a printable from Hands and Bands. I printed it out, laminated, and then put uh, scratchers on it. And it's only a $50 challenge, which is perfect. Uh, and I love it. it the, the envelope is also from her website or from her Etsy shop. So next week we will scratch that one. All right, moving on. I'm going to, let's see. Maybe I won't move on 
and I think I'll call it a day for today. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you and I'm going to say goodbye only because well, number one, I want to finish my tea here and then I also want to make sure that this video doesn't go for any longer. So I will see you in the next video. Let's go ahead and do a second part of this one. Thank you for being here. Love you guys, but more than anything, as always, God bless. Bye.